I have five unfinished wood birdhouses. The three larger ones came from Dollar General, and the two smaller ones came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start with the larger one that has the printed design on them, and I'm going to remove the center wooden dowel on all of the birdhouses. And using my Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer in white, I'm going to give all five of the birdhouses a good coat of the primer. Now the two smaller birdhouses did not have the printed design, so these only got one coat of the primer, but the other three that had the design I gave two good coats. And then you want that to fully cure. Now on the three larger birdhouses I used Wise Owl Higgins Lake on the front and the sides. And as you can see, since I primed them, you do not see the previous printed design on them. And then I allowed that to dry. I went to the smaller one and I just gave it a quick coat of the Wise Owl Snow Owl, which is white also. So you can also just do another coat of the primer for better coverage. And I'm leaving the smaller ones white. I took my General Finishes Gel Stain. This color is Antique Walnut and I'm using a Gen Foam Brush and I'm just applying it to the rooftop of the three larger birdhouses. And once it's fully covered, you just take a paper towel and wipe off the excess gel stain. And now some of the white is peeking through and I love this antiqued look. And now I apply the gel stain just to the three larger birdhouses. I have this scrap piece of wood, it's about 18 inches long, and I'm also going to use the gel stain on that. This was just a scrap piece of wood, I believe it's a one by one and a half inch, and you can get these usually at Lowe's, and this was just left over from another project. So I applied the gel stain, and then you're going to use your paper towel to rub in any excess gel stain. Once everything was fully dry, I'm going to use some hot glue. In starting with the larger birdhouse, I'm going to center it on the piece of wood. And then I'm going to put the smaller ones to the right and to the left of that. And you just want to space them out so that it looks somewhat even. And I'm just resting the base of the birdhouse on the wood as well. So that piece of wood in the back is kind of sitting on the top of the base of the birdhouse. And I just rotated between the large and small, and this is where we're at so far. I got these white decor hooks from Hobby Lobby. They were originally $2.99, but I go when they do their 50% off, which is every other week. And I'm going to take a little bit of E6000 and put it around the hole where we remove that small wooden dowel. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and put it on the back side of the hook. And I'm just placing those on the center of the small hole. And there we go. Now we have this very easy birdhouse wall hanging that you can hang your keys from or anything light such as a dog leash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.